Megan. And it's her birthday. Yeah. This is my homie from Conway. Yeah. We're at Spa Castle. Yeah, we're at Spa Castle premiere in the city. Having fun. Take we're a little selfie. ashy. We're a little Oh yeah. Very cracked. But we're a little okay. ashy. We just came out the pool, so we got a little oops. Yeah. Got a little our little things on here. They give you cute little shorts. Yes, we get little shorts. You get like you guys want to go. You get these little cool, cool little bands, bands there. That you just you used to pay for like everything. That. And that's the food I just ate. It was I yummy. Know. It was yummy. Yeah. A little pricey, but it was yummy. Pricey, but you know, it's <laughs> you want to say hi? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna be used to, are you not ready? I'm ready, girl. I'm ready. You want to say hi? Okay. Wait, what? What's she doing? Vlogging, vlogging. What are you doing? Not yet. Get into the sauna. I want to take a picture. I'm doing the same thing. Vlogging. Oh, you can set the temperature? I'm so sad. <laughs> so cute. This is a really nice place that you think. Oh god, how hot is it? Oh the gold bag. It feels good. The gold room? Yeah. 147 degrees. Oh we go into the igloo room now. What's this one? I mean well this feels like the igloo already. What is this one? Oh my god, that's even hotter. Oh my god, how oh, This is the ice igloo room. And it's like legit cold in here. Like, oh my god, it's just freezing. Look at that. That is ice. Ice. Guys, there it goes. Oh my god. I'm getting ready to go. Oh, it's time to go, time to go. Oh, you said somebody was said? mad. Oh, thank you. Oh, wow, it's so. Oh, Lord. It is so hot. <laughs> Oh, I think this is somebody. Thanks. Johnny! You're just scratching the shit out of your ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you almost had it. Number two, the fuck didn't even get to number one. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is why our schools are failing, bro. They're just letting people pass. You judge that shit. <laughs> Uh-oh. 
<laughs> Daddy, relax. <laughs> hey guys, so I know it's been forever since I actually vlogged. Okay, let's get up here. But um, I'm actually going out for date night again tonight. I just wanted to just pop in and just show you guys my outfit really quick. Super simple. I'm just wearing this top with this little shawl type thingy. I'm wearing some jeans, boots. Of course, you guys know my baby. So we are going out to like a Thai restaurant. And um, it's actually a surprise. I'm the one that picked it this time. And it closes at 10 o'clock and it's like 7 something. So I am like dashing to meet up. So yeah, I will vlog along the way. And we're going to uh, Chanel Books and like reservation to yeah, like some fancy I'm awesome. ass. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the big Dotto! The big MD. It's amazing, right? Are you excited? Oh my Record god, I can't reaction. wait. Please Can you guys believe reaction. she got the playpen? I got the playpen with the balls. I'm it's a Canon camera, shut up. Yeah, okay. Don't don't like try to make up for that when you're really bad. You're supposed to be, excuse me. This is supposed to be the photographer, oh, sorry, okay? No. And he can't even. I'm shy. Oh, really? You're right. <laughs> so the guy who hijacks all my vlogs all the time, right? What are you talking about? Not at all. Mm -hmm. My hair's just fucked up. I don't want them to see this. You look cute. Shut up. No, no, bro. Shut up. I mean, yeah, I do, but you know. <laughs> okay, I'm looking at you. Okay, so we're in the restaurant. Why are you always looking away? You have one piece that's a little out. This is the one piece. This is the restaurant. I'm probably gonna have to edit it. What? Look at that. I do. So we got uh, coconut calamari, something another, and that's like steam and fried dumplings. What did you get? Food. It has a little flower in it, it's so cute. And this is what I got. I'm not too sure if I'm gonna like this, but the rice is so cute. It's like a little cone. It's like the cutest thing ever. So we'll see what happens. And here is the dessert. We got a cream cake with mango sorbet. Aren't they absolutely beautiful? Aren't they beautiful and pretty? <laughs> What's up, guys? I'm back. Um, Today's actually Saturday morning. And I just woke up. I don't know how I'm up because I went to bed at like 3 something. I had one of my friends go over. We just hung up for a little bit. Um, yesterday was a really good day at work. Um, that was the day after you guys saw I did not go to that like uh, really cool restaurant. He actually had a flower delivery. Del delivery. I'm tired. He had a flower delivery for me at work. And it was so funny because the day before... He kept texting me and telling me to give him the exact address of my, um, you know, my uh, job or whatever. And I'm like, why? He's like, oh, I have somebody who I think is my friend that works next year or something. I'm like, okay. So as I'm trying to leave, like, you know, it's five, I'm ready to go home. He's like telling me, make sure you call me before you leave or whatever. And I'm just like, okay. So I call him and then he's like all like disappointed and stuff. And I'm just like, what is going on? And he's like, forget it, just go home. So I'm like, okay. And he was like really pissed off. But apparently he was supposed to have flowers delivered to me. <sighs> Guys, stop, please. These cats are going to get me evicted. I am not supposed to have animals in this apartment. And they're making it very easy to decipher that there are animals in this apartment. <laughs> But anyway, um, running around on these hardwood floors at 7 o'clock in the morning. But anyway, moving on. So apparently, um, you know, we had them delivered and I got them yesterday and they were so pretty. And um, my coworkers were like, oh, it's your birthday again? Because you guys know last birthday I got a crap load of flowers. Like, I think I had like three bouquets of flowers that came in. And they were like, oh, it's your birthday. And I'm like, no, these are just because. And then he wrote a cute little note on it too. So it was really sweet. And I'm really enjoying my babies. They are so pretty. Absolutely pretty. So today, um, I'm sorry, I get this vlogging thing. Today, I don't really have anything to do. All my errands are 
no i'm lying i have a lot of errands to do today but i don't know if i'm gonna really like try to figure this out like i know one i do want to get a shopping cart because um if you guys know i live on the floor uh i my apartment is a four floor it's like one of those old school walk-up buildings so there's no elevator so anything that you have to get up here you gotta take it upstairs so i'm trying to see if i could get a shopping cart today i gotta figure out where to get it because i know oh, gosh I haven't done grocery shopping in like two weeks and if I show you guys my refrigerator it would be embarrassing like there's like legit water and juice in there and that's it and a couple other random things so I gotta try to get a shopping cart um are we doing anything today I know I'm seeing him later I think he has work today he has to shoot um either a movie or he has to take some photos one of the two but I will be seeing him later today and I think that's it so I just want to pop in here and say hi because I've been being terrible at this whole vlogging thing. I do have to film a couple of videos for YouTube, um, company related videos, of course. Not sure where I'm going to start, but um, yeah, that's basically what we're doing today. So we're about to make smoothies. I'm finally testing out this right here because I have not used that since I got it for Christmas. So I am using pineapple. So I'm going to throw a couple of chunks in there. I do like it and then we have our mangoes in here as well oh no my mango we're gonna wash this off and we are going to put this right back inside because i don't believe in wasting food what they say it's like a three second rule or something like that so that is going right in there throw some more My milk is almost finished. I don't drink regular, uh, you know, like dairy milk. I actually drink almond milk, so it's almost finished. So we're gonna pour a little bit of that in there. I might actually. Hey y'all! <laughs> I don't know why we do this, but I'm always gonna do this. But anyway, you know what? Let's do this. So um, I'm about to go head out, and I'm about to go meet up with Eddie. Um, I kind of want to go out tonight. I don't just want to stay home. You know, that's kind of boring sometimes. So, um, this is the outfit. Uh, I just did something really quick. I actually filmed a tutorial on this hairstyle. Very, very simple, very, very quick. I just have a scarf on, regular shirt, uh, of course, leggings. I have my shoes there, and then I just have my bag. The weather right now is kind of um, bipolar, if you will. So, it's like, it feels like it might be like 50 or 40 degrees outside. I'm honestly not too sure. So I'm not gonna wear like a really heavy jacket or anything, but um, yeah, I'm about to head out, so. Um, I'm driving like this because I don't have my thingy and I never really use it anyway, but. You know what's crazy, y'all? I feel like I'm getting sick and it doesn't make me happy because I last time I was sick, I was absolutely miserable to the point where I had to like call out and I'm not trying to do it again, but it seems like that might be happening because I feel it like, you know that feeling when you're getting sick and it's like you feel that kind of foggy feeling in your throat and it just seems constricted and then like you know the nose won't stop and it's like oh my goodness so I don't know y'all I think it's getting sick and I have freaking Eddie to blame for that because he's actually sick so I probably put it for him but let's think positive let's definitely think positive um I just went over to my parents house to just drop a, um pick up a jacket and also um my what is it called something snacks snack uh box description so i just made a pit stop and now i'm heading over to um eddie's i actually want to go out today like i kind of do but um yeah back to the jacket i really need a new jacket like most of the time i just depend on these companies to send me a jacket because that's usually what happens hence me wearing it right now but um this time i was like you know what i want to pick my own jacket like i want to invest in a jacket so um we recently went to a party. Oh, we are going to police. Put, let's, put that, let's put that down. All right, there we go. <laughs> so, yeah, we recently went to, like, a, um, a house party. And I was freaking wasted. Like, it was bad. I couldn't drive, nothing like that. So, I actually ended up uh, just chilling at his house. But on the walk home, he gave me his North Face. And that thing was so freaking warm. Like, when I tell you, it was, like, uh, it was, like, raining, whatever. We were both, like, wasted, so none of us could drive. But luckily, he didn't live that far from the house party. So, um, yeah, he gave me, believe it or not, he was wearing my jacket. And I was wearing his gigantic North Face jacket. So, I felt it. I was like, oh my god, like this is actually really freaking warm. So, 
I decided that I probably want to invest in like a North Face and it's so cute it's like this nice little hot pinkish not really kind of peachy color and it has like a nice little uh belt where you could like cinch it at the waist it's very cute um it was 259 dollars never spent that much on a jacket before but honestly north face like it's a really good brand it's reputable and it's effective at what they promise to do like i tried it on for one i thought that i was gonna have to send it back because I was like, I'm not spending that much in a jacket. It's probably gonna be like way too big because I rushed it. But it's a good thing that I didn't, um, you know, they didn't go through with canceling it because I'm actually really excited to wear it now and it's like awesome. So it's like, yay, let's get cold. Not really, but yeah, so um, yeah, that's the situation. Didn't I turn this down? <sighs> so yeah, that's the situation, yeah. I tried it on, it fit like really, really nice. Like my current weight right now, it fits really nice on me, so. Hopefully, you know, around winter time again, we usually store more fat when the, you know, the temperature drops. So, um, yeah, we'll see. But I like the jacket. Hopefully, you guys will see me with it on the vlog or I might just put it in the favorites video, which I haven't done in massive amounts of months, which is crazy. But, um, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's basically everything that I had uh, picked up. So, yeah, I just wanted to ramble and tell you guys about that. <laughs> now back to safe driving. So I'm currently in Dollar Tree. Um, I got most of the errands done today. I got the shopping cart and I got a couple of, um, what do you call it? Uh, here's my shopping cart, by the way. Um, what am I talking about? Yeah, I got my fruits already and I'm just getting some more stuff. I had gotten some flowers from Eddie, so I'm gonna use that um, vase. I'm just gonna throw these in there for decorating purposes. I'm pretty much you guys are gonna see this. You guys know V-Day is coming up, so I'm just grabbing a couple of items now because trying to get it last minute is like the worst. So that's what I'm currently doing. And I have my mother with me. She's probably not gonna say hi. Ma, hi. <laughs> you wanna turn her out? No. Just wave. <laughs> she absolutely loves Dollar Tree. She's actually the one that told me to start doing them. So it is so hard for me to not buy these things. They're so good. So I'm pretty much done. You guys can see my shopping cart absolutely full to the max as usual. And my mom is always, I don't know what kind of candy she likes, mom. My mom's always the one that's taking a long time. But yeah, you guys are getting on me about the candy, but it's like, look at all this candy. So hard not to. Hey guys, so I'm cooking. Um, tonight's gonna be shrimp Alfredo. So I just uh, basically took off the tails of the shrimps. These are already cooked. That's what they look like. You guys want to see it. These are the spices and everything. I have the Alfredo sauce right here. So all I'm going to do now is just put some of the uh, fettuccine to boil. And then I'm just going to cook this. And you guys can watch me cook it. Oh, you're making it on this? Yo, this shit's about to be dope. Yes, it's quick. Nah, but it's going to look nice too. Because it's going to have like those um, the grill marks. For the shrimp in here. Those are beautiful. And shrimp. I got these new little wooden spatula utensil things, so I'm really happy about it. Yeah. I'm not doing too many because it's just like the two of us, but you guys know shrimp cooks really, really quick. So. That looks so good. It's already cooked though. So the whole box? I don't think we're done. The real chef took over now. It's about time. If somebody doesn't know what the hell they're doing. Why are you putting that in now? Oh, I cut that by the way. Only thing you could do. Shut up. Look at that. Now it's frying. Do you see that? Look at that. Look at the beautiful frying. Jesus. Just continuing to fry because I tasted one and it was a little too juicy. So I'm just putting them on the flame a little longer and somebody burnt all of my ingredients. That would be like my garlic and everything. So, thank, so let's thank this guy in his little bun. <laughs> Yo, you made me that. So. <laughs> That's good, let's dude. thank that guy for destroying my meal. Oh, so you got cheddar cheese? No, I have mozzarella cheese. Well, you got mozzarella and cheddar? Yo! Ew, in Alfredo? Yeah! Sharp in Alfredo. Everything. That's nasty. I know we're supposed to show you guys exactly how I made everything, but I was really hungry. So I just put the Alfredo sauce and everything along with the spaghetti. I mean, excuse me, fettuccine. 
and I just dumped the shrimps in there and this is my meal I have some garlic bread in the oven going so that's gonna go on the side and I'll show you guys the garlic bread and all that good stuff like uh, I guess I was supposed to be having here in New York so I just wanted to show you guys some of the uh blizzard is going on outside let me open this one a little bit Ugh. so yeah this is the blizzard that we are currently having and it looks like it's getting pretty deep so this is the whole situation here everything. it looks pretty crazy like i'm kind of happy that i didn't you know uh drive my car out because doing that like let me let me emphasize having to shovel all of that is not fun and i think i hear some of the uh wind, uh what do you call them the snow blowers or you know the sanitation workers that basically get the uh snow off the ground and stuff that wouldn't be fun so last night i decided to do some last minute cleaning it was like two o'clock in the morning that i went to bed last night like it was pretty late so i just decided to mop sweep do everything all over and i also did some moving around so i had moved these guys over here since they love the window so much and that's exactly what i wanted with my baby is looking out the window so i had just decided to move the little perch over here to this side because it was actually in the corner over there so yeah now they can look out the window and hopefully start running around my house at seven o'clock in the morning this isn't staying here because i have to like move that as well because these little buttholes shattered something in my kitchen so i'm still trying to figure that out but um yeah that's basically the day and i don't know i just love seeing him up there um now he looks like he's gonna go do something bad okay yep we're going to do something bad aren't we <laughs> look at my babies look at my babies Hi, Sammy. Hi, Sammy. You know what's so weird? They have different color eyes. Downey's eyes are like more of a gray. And his brother has more of like a... Come here, look at me. His brother has more of like a... What color is that? I don't even know. He's so cute. They're like a... I don't want to say like brown or anything, but... It's so weird. They have different color eyes with their brothers. Downy. Rowdy being bad. <laughs> yeah. They are so freaking bad. Rowdy, leave your brother alone. Rowdy, stop it. They're so freaking. Uh, stop, stop. You already shattered my first one. That's enough. It was probably you that did it, right? Oh, these cats are terrible. But they make me happy. Great, now they're both up. Wonderful. <laughs> They're both gonna drive me crazy now. They cannot live without each other. <laughs> Did you see something? All right, so we're outside and this is just outside of the door. Holy crap. How deep is it? the cars everything is stolen thank god i did not take my car out the garage oh my god it is so snowy out i'm about to put this up guys it's bad out here like really 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 bad holy crap <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> i have no gloves that was so mean <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i don't think anything came down this block bro i don't have any gloves no. so that means i can't retaliate no. guys look at this this is new york what the hell no hit me no see he's the worst person ever ah! <laughs> hold on hold on hold on dude it is deep <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, not, not as that deep. As I expected it to be. <laughs> Bro, who is going to freaking shovel my driveway? Who? Dave. <laughs> my driveway needs shoveling. I'm getting stuck. <laughs> Oh 
Oh my god, guys. I cannot believe this right now. Like, look at my freaking feet. Holy crap. Are you even trying to get anything? It's like the photographer's playground right now. awesome but when your pants don't fit and they look like that it's not cool like they really don't fit like struggles man struggles yeah we keep up dog and shit and there was a little bit of this nigga is not professing your life he's just sitting in the mouth I'm just sitting in the mouth Russian 101. Tell me how do I say my name is Chanel? Bruh, I'm so sick of being sick, man. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's like little babies over there in the window, and this guy's going batshit because he wants to be friends, aka kill them. <laughs> Excuse me if I sound like a man, I'm still sick, but yeah, this bird is a freaking thug. He gives no fucks. And this guy's like, yo, bro, come closer. He's like, I don't give, I give no fucks right now. Maybe he. That's exactly why I hate the cold. This is why I need to move to a tropical climate. Because this is annoying. My trunk will not close. Hey guys, haven't been vlogging for a bit. Just had a crazy like month and all that. But um, you guys seem to like the cooking, so I just want to show you guys some of what I'm cooking. I have chicken breast going, curry rice, and I have these potatoes here in the oven. They're like a lemon zest rosemary, and that's the same thing I'm making here, like a rosemary lemon breast kind of chicken breast. And then we have the rice in there. I'm probably gonna do some type of like uh, peas or corns for veggies, and um, yeah, I'll show you guys how it looks in the finished. And here is dessert, which is uh, blackberries, kiwi, and strawberry. Any chef set up in the kitchen. Yum. Like salmon, but that is really good. I had a little piece of that and it was so freaking good. Mm. Tell me how to make my snaps. Don't those. tell me how to make my snaps. Like I was saying, a guy that knows how to cook is a rarity and he's out. Hey guys. So I haven't really been vlogging much as I told you guys because just been pretty busy with life. But I'm here with my mom and Lex. And we are heading to Dollar Tree because that's this woman's favorite spot. <laughs> and she doesn't know anything else besides Dollar Tree. Today's pretty much a chill day. All I'm going to do is just like grab a couple of groceries, items for the house. I don't think I'm doing a haul because I don't think I'm getting that much stuff. But um, yeah, that's about it. So my mom is also teaching me how to make uh, stew chicken, and then my dad made, excuse me, we have, what kind of rice is that? Um, no one knows. Okay. 
And then we have like the seafood kind of gumbo situation. And then we also had salad that we dug into. And that is pretty much the meal. Oh, we have corn over here too. Actually, you guys Yeah, well, yeah, you guys can eat this corn there. Hey guys, so today's Sunday. I have not been filming or vlogging for a while. I've honestly just been doing quick little snaps on Snapchat. Not the same thing, but I've just been pretty like, I guess you can say busy, like really, really busy. So um, I just wanted to come in here and do like a quick update with you guys. Um, February went and passed. We are currently in the middle of March. That is currently going and passing and a lot of different things had happened. I had filmed a video recently telling you guys that um, I was a fitness video. Yep. Yeah. So basically I needed surgery on my knee because I was having some issues. Turns out I have some type of like issue with my meniscus and they had to actually go in there and perform surgery. So I had everything that was already set up for it. I was supposed to go in this week, which is the 17th of March. And as I was talking to, and as I was talking over with my mother and my dad and Eddie and everything, everyone was telling me that I should probably get a second opinion and not just go based on what the surgeon told me. So y'all know me, I'm just trying to get stuff done. I don't really like, which is bad. I honestly, when it comes to my health, especially things like surgery, I really shouldn't be rushing it. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna just go through with it, whatever the doctor's good or whatever he's been doing like these for years. So, um, I called the doctor because no one had called me back as far as like for testing, for surgery prep, all of that. And I'm like, you know, my surgery is next week. Nobody reached out to me. What's going on? So the chick calls and um, she's like, somebody will get back to you by Wednesday. This is the week that just passed. So I get a call on, uh, I think it was either Wednesday or yeah, it was either Wednesday. And she's like, um, well, apparently the doctor that you had before, he doesn't take your insurance anymore. And the referral you bought is basically nullified. It's not valid. So I'm like, what you mean? So I call my doctor. He drops the insurance. He's like, nope, I don't handle it anymore. I don't see you. Didn't even give me like a heads up notice, nothing like that. Like I'm no longer your doctor. You have no doctor. So I'm just over here walking around with no primary care doctor. Can you believe that? So... I just basically call the place back, tell them that, you know, um, I have to get a new doctor, which I did select. The next available appointment is going to be like the 14th of April. So obviously this surgery is not happening. It's just not happening. I've been calling, calling, trying to see if I could get like a walk-in appointment. Just somebody that can actually go through and like approve this whole thing. Just say, yes, I saw her go ahead with the surgery. Like I swear insurance is like absolutely ridiculous. Like really 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 dick i heard something weird i don't know it's ridiculous so um one of my colleagues was actually saying you know like that's a sign and when i told eddie about it he was like he's actually relieved i'm not having it done because he wanted me to get a second opinion so i guess it's a sign from god like usually anytime you're trying to do something there's always an obstacle that continues to be set in your path so like she said like eddie said and everybody else get a second opinion see another surgery because um what i'm supposed to be having is like a surgery where they go in my knee with like a camera they look around to see what's going on and then they actually like cut away whatever needs to be cut or removed or whatever because that's actually what's been holding me back on my workouts for me not being able to do as much cardio because of the injury that i've been having to my knee like it can't take the shock from like me jumping around and doing lunges and jumping jacks and all those different things so i've actually had to like cut back on some of the stuff that i do and wear a brace so um yeah, like, um, I'm not having a day anymore. What I'm going to do is see that doctor. I'm going to get a referral. And I'm actually going to go to the, uh, I think it's the New York Hospital of Special Surgery where they have, like, a lot of different um orthopedic surgeons who, you know, do that really, really well-known, highly recommended. That's what my dad said. So, you know, sometimes God is actually looking out for you. You know, anytime something happens and you get frustrated, it could actually be God saving you from something, you know, crazy. And I don't usually get religious on this channel, but um, I do believe and I'm not qualified anymore because <laughs> who's to say that, you know, I wouldn't be butchered. And the main red flag that my mother was raising was the fact that when um, I went to see my surgeon, he said that to have his surgery, I would go in Thursday and then I would be back to work on Monday. And when I told my mom and my dad about that, they were like, he's a liar. They had the same surgery done and they were out anywhere from like six to eight weeks. So they were like, it yeah, that right there is telling me that that man probably wants some money. So stay away from him and go see somebody else. So that's basically what I've been doing. I've um, also been working out. I have lost a bit of weight, so I'm happy about that. I'm trying to get my arms back in shape. You remember what I used to be? So I'm just trying to like do those different things um, while still trying to watch out for my knee as well. So 
that's basically what I've been doing, y'all. Um, my birthday is next month. I can't believe it. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. I bought a new car, too. Like, that's an early birthday gift that I got for myself. I decided to buy a new car. Totally forgot to share that with you guys. Um, I decided to get out of, like, I don't want to say basic because I don't want to offend anybody. But you guys know the regular uh, basic car lines that they have out there, like Honda, uh, Toyota before. Um, before, I didn't tell you guys because I'm not one to brag, but I was uh, driving a 2014 uh, Toyota Corolla. And I love the car. It was a great car for, like, my, um, you know, and going in. I would say entering college. It was a great little present for myself, like a car um, coming out of college. You guys are with me for that. So it was pretty cool. And um, yeah, now I'm actually deciding to like, you know, step up in the luxury line or whatever. So I didn't want to get anything like a BMW or Mercedes because honestly, you see those cars a lot and it's no shade to anybody who, you know, drives that, but that's just not me. Like I like to get something that's different. So I decide like if I'm going to go luxury, I'm going to go with the Audi and I absolutely love it. Like I drive an Audi. It's actually not a regular Audi. It's a special uh, season of Audi. Um, a vehicle. I don't want to say car because my dad is like, no, you don't call these cars. You call these vehicles. Okay. It's a German craftsmanship. <laughs> so, um, my vehicle is a, uh, season of Audi 2016 A3. And it's like a 2.0 Quattro S line, some crazy crap that I don't even remember. Anyway, in short, it's a sports car. Everything is all leather, has a screen that comes up. It's it's a beautiful vehicle. Like, oh my God, I love that. I'm saying car. I absolutely love that car. I love my car. I feel like now I have something that I'm proud of. Like I want to show up. So that's like been a birthday gift for myself. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what else I should do for my birthday. I know Eddie says he has something that's um planned for me. I don't know what it is, but he's been talking about this since like freaking January. So I don't know what he has planned, but um... Yeah, guys, this is basically what's been going on. Um, faces beat. Hair looks crazy because I did a wig review. Um, as far as update on the edges, you guys can see that they're basically starting to come in rather nicely. And I haven't really even been using the, uh, what do you call it? The uh, Mango Shea Butter Moisturizing Growth Day for long. Haven't been using it for long. And as you guys can see, we're already making progress. So that's pretty cool. Um, like I said, my hair is in twist because I did a wig review. And I did like a slight little... Um, foundation primer review as well yeah and um today i basically have a lot of groceries in the house so i don't think i'm gonna go grocery shop i'm just gonna get some you know regulars like fresh fruit probably uh bagels and that's about it because i really don't need to go shopping for like a while when i say a while this looks really good she's a little jealous because hers doesn't look like mine <laughs> this looks good though it's a nice Birds. What's going on? As soon as they about to come and move back home to my parents' house because they had the absolute best lighting, especially on the patio. And Miss Hurry wouldn't move back home. Like I'm also starting to realize that I need to finally have like some friends. So like if anybody wants to be my friend, you can like send me like, you know, uh, a little fun DM. I'm trying to figure is this like the those are that's supposed to like make you look pretty because I feel like all it does is just make my head bigger like way bigger than it actually I know but seriously like I'm really worried like I have nothing to do like nothing to do right now where you been at Get her, ma. Get her, ma. You know get time, her, ma. No, you know what time I don't, get Don't you block my snap. I'm bored. You look you block my snap. Don't you do that. There's family home, so I have somebody to harass. This used to be my old room, and she took it over and kind of put all my stuff in trash bags, and she moved in, so yeah. Hey. 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 Be my friend. What about you? You want to be my friend? Yes. Hi. No, it's silly, you know. What? Everybody came to the camera like you. What the hell? Snapchat. Okay. Oh, but it was a Snapchat. No. Why would I do that? No, would you stop? Come on. Why is everyone scared of the camera? It's a camera. 
<laughs> no, he doesn't want me. What? I moved out. You don't even miss me. Look at this. You see this? She's trying to. She's trying to kick me out. Like well, this is the mother. This is the. Mo mm -hmm. That's what I like to see. Oh yeah. Just later. Just later. Just later. Oh, that's right. Give me cat. Give me cat pose. Ooh, hey guys, so I just finished doing my workout. Oh, today's Saturday, by the way. Just in case I didn't say that. But yeah, I just finished up. Oh, this guy. Why? Why? Anyway, I'm so sick of these guys. I don't understand. Just finished my workout, and um, today is going to be like a full date kind of day. Eddie and I are going out. We're going to the Met. Haven't been there, but he said it's pretty dope. So we're gonna do that. Um, last night I decided to try cooking again. I went out and bought like uh, what did I buy? I bought like a twelve piece set. Of course, it's red. It comes with like a whole bunch of different items for like uh cooking, obviously, and it comes with like different um utensils and things. So last night, hello, hello, somebody wants to say hi. Say hi, Downey. Mm -hmm. Obviously, he doesn't like kisses. So last night, what I did is um, I had some oxtail, and I uh, left it out so that I could defrost when I got home from work. I came home late last night. Was it late? It wasn't too late. I spent the night at my mom's house, as you guys saw. I was harassing them on Snapchat. But um, um, yeah, so I marinated the oxtail overnight, which I'm going to show you guys soon. And now we're going to start cooking. All right, so this is the... Uh, this is a pan that I had used, so my oxtail is a little different. Like, I didn't have the, what am I saying? I think the only thing I'm missing is tomato and scallions, but I got away with just the basics. I had a green pepper. I used browning, obviously, um, garlic, onion. I had a scotch bonnet that I just had, like, one of them left, but I didn't use it so so currently waiting for the water to build oh yeah my nails really gotta get them done like he said that's not cute but anyway waiting for the water to boil and then i'm probably going to use these kidney beans there's another kind of beans that people use but obviously i don't have have those so i'm going to use these i don't know why those are out but let's see if the water is ready this is like a little trick that my mom taught me yes i have dishes in my sink i was eating so yeah it's we're getting there as far as warming up so once this warms up i'm just going to go ahead and lightly brown some of these and these are some of the utensils that i had bought so it's like these nice wooden utensils and then this is a part of like the uh kitchen uh set that i was telling you guys as you guys can see there's a lot of red going on in this kitchen red 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 <laughs> red party cup red i don't know <laughs> but basically yeah that's uh the situation quick updates i decided last minute like just like woke up one day and was like uh yeah i want to wake up and spend my birthday in another country so i will be spending my birthday my 26th birthday in mexico so i'm really really like happy about it, it was totally random like really spur of the moment so i'm trying to get my body right uh so far it looks like my face is definitely slimming down we see the collarbones coming through so you know i'm happy about that so i'm working on that i think our oil is kind of ready but uh yeah this is just some quick uh life update all right so we finally have the oil starting to boil up and now what i'm going to do is not really fry it but more so just um you know just start to i guess they would say brown it a little bit because then we're actually going to boil it and it's gonna kind of look like a stew in a sense. So it really does smell good. Like all the onions and all the different like uh, green peppers and veggies and garlic, it actually smells really, really good. And it's starting to look just like how mom used to make it. Oh yeah, by the way, for some of you who were watching my first vlog when I was making curry goat, I was thinking of another dish that my mom made. Can't remember what it was, but when she saw it, she was like, Chanel, I never put ketchup in curry. <laughs> so that might've been a mistake. I think it might be the oxtail she puts the ketchup in. I'm not too sure. I got to call and ask her because like I would tell you guys most of the time when I was still at home, she would be throwing me out the kitchen because I would sit there and try to like eat everything that actually was prepared. So that's why I don't really remember too much but um yeah i think it was definitely the uh, oxtail she put the ketchup in so yes my bad no ketchup and curry goat <laughs> okay so i apparently did have tomatoes so all i did is i had cut up my tomato onion garlic ginger green peppers 
And I think that's it. And of course, I have my Old Spice. And I, I said Old Spice, really. My whole Old Spice, my time. And now, oops, I'm dropping stuff a little bit. All right, so um, it's just about brown. Everything looks about good. So now all I'm going to do is just add that on top of it. So I'm going to turn the stove back on. The heat's not going to be too high, so like, it's about a good height for the heat. Now I know I'm supposed to add some water. Not a whole lot, just a bit. So I'm going to add some water. I'm going to wash all these dishes. So I'm going to add a bit of water to the pot. She said not a lot though. All right, that looks about right now. So I'm going to add all of those inside. Everything out. And then those, and now I'm just going to slip this around and make sure everything is getting everything that it needs to get. All of my onions, some of that cool spice. Not a lot, just a couple. All right. Also want to add our thyme leaves. I'm just going to add a couple of these on top. Hope y'all can see this. I like little trees. You know, it's always crazy because like when I see people cooking and it's like these simple little ingredients, you wonder like, does that really make a difference? So I'm putting the thyme leaves on there. Okay. I think that's enough thyme. All right. I feel more comfortable with that. Alrighty, so um, now all I'm going to do is just go back and re-season everything, the season that I used before, and then I'm going to cover it. Now that I'm all finished with that, all I'm going to do is just place my lid on top, and we're just going to cook it down. And as soon as the water goes down, we'll add some more water and so on until it's all nice full and cooked. I'm just going to leave the heat pretty low. So I'll leave the little heat like that. And then I'm just going to clean up my stove because anytime when I cook, I always have a mess in cleaning. Hey guys, so I am, um, what, what is it? Today is Sunday and um, it's 1046. So it's about time for me to get ready to uh, go to bed and all that good stuff. But I just want to show you guys that I'm chefing it up once again. We have stew chicken going here. I have it on the front facing him, so... Yeah, I have the stew chicken going because I had cooked the oxtail, but um, Eddie decided to eat all my food. And then I also brought a plate to my mom, and it really was too it, I was going to say it was too good, no. <laughs> um, so yeah, I had enough, but somebody ate all my food, aka Eddie, and um, I had to make some more food. So what I'm trying to do is like meal prep for like the week so that I don't have to spend a lot of money on food. And also, I've noticed that I've lost a considerable amount of weight as well, like... Um, my legs and everything you guys probably can't tell but like my legs are very much slimmer if that makes any sense so i realized that it's a lot easier for me to actually just and healthier for me to eat like a bowl of uh stewed chicken or oxtail or white rice whatever than golden grams for dinner so that's what i'm currently doing at the moment um tomorrow's gonna be a busy day i forgot to tell you guys i enrolled into graduate school i got accepted to my master's program so yay <laughs> so that's good i'm going for my um mhrm which is a master's in human resources management so tomorrow i actually go to pick out my classes for the semester do all my fine uh, financial aid i'm really hoping that my um my uh what should I say? My employer does the whole tuition reimbursement because that would be great. Nobody wants a bill, and this is looking very expensive. So I'm really hoping for that. Oh, I also applied for a scholarship. I did not know that I made dean's list when I graduated from college. Had no idea. My GPA was like a 3.6, and I was on dean's list. I was looking at my transcript like, why nobody tell me this? That would be nice to tell somebody. So that was pretty cool. I was like, yay! So um, I'm going to go and see if I got the scholarship tomorrow and I guess get the like final total on how much everything is going to be and so on. So and I want to give you guys like a better uh, view of like the steamed chicken and everything. So I obviously had missed a couple of steps like uh, that you guys didn't get to see. I had browned the chicken and then I had cut up my onions, uh, garlic, tomatoes, green pepper, all those good things and um, put my thyme in there. I don't even know if I was getting it on camera, but uh, yeah, so I'm just going to let it simmer down because like I said, tomorrow is my late day and I want to have me a nice meal. So tomorrow I got to pick up some white rice and then yeah, hopefully we can get these done too because I was working out and I was doing burpees 
and I actually had went like this on the nail and like it bent back and it freaking hurts. I'm pretty sure it's probably broken inside of there and there's a wound. So yeah, I gotta get these done or if not, just take these off because this, this is tragic, it really is.